take a moment to identify which modules were shipped with your card. There are two type of analog module, FXO, Foreign Exchange Office and FXS, Foreign Exchange Station. The first four FXO ports are built on board. The Spotel ST1600P card can ship with additional FXO and or FXS modules in place. These are identified by their color. FXS modules are green and allows an analog ST1600 series card to initiate and send ringing voltage to an FXO device such as an analog telephone. FXO modules are red wall and allows an analog ST1600 series card to terminate analog telephone lines, POTS. In this example, the card comes with all red FXO modules. This configuration will support 16 FXO analog phone lines. A power cable is included in the package. If your card has any FXS modules, you will need to connect the power cable from your computer's power supply to the back of the card. Insert one end of the power cable on the rear of the card and another end to the power supply of your PC. If your card has only FXO modules, this power cable is not necessary. The splitter cable is to divide the RJ11 jacks from the faceplate connector. Each splitter cable will divide four RJ11 jacks to serve as FXO or FXS port depending the type of the module on the socket. With the splitter cables, 16 RJ11 ports can be divided from four jacks on the face plates. The first four RJ11 jacks correspond to the four onboard FXO ports. Starting from the second splitter cable, each two jacks corresponds to socket as shown in the table. The ST1600 is the most advanced asterisk cards with superior quality in the open source community. Most of the time when interrupt conflict happens during asterisk card installation in the system, users have no other choice but to change their servers. It's been a long suffering even in the whole PCI industry. The release of the new series cards has eliminated the interrupt issues. Users can simply adjust the interrupt number to ensure the cards to use one IRQ only or to avoid conflicts with those frequently sending IRQ equipment such as network card and hard disk. The leading innovation ensures users to adjust the interrupts frequency to reduce the CPU load up to 70% and adjust the IRQ number to avoid interrupt sharing or conflict. The ST1600 series card could fit in any PCI slot in 32-bit 3.3 volts or 5 volts as well as the 64-bit PCIX variants. The card will automatically detect and switch to adapt to the type of PCI slot accordingly. Many people don't realize just how easy it is to configure a Spotel interface card. It is usually no more than few simple commands that configures the card very easily. In Elastics, just go to System, Hardware Detection, select the first advanced option to replace a config file, with a simple click on the Detect button. Bingo! All the ports will be recognized and installed automatically no matter any combination between FXS and FXO modules on the card. With Trixbox CE there is a very simple script called Setup PSTN that does the hard part of configuring the asterisk configuration files for you. The same setup PSTN command will work on all versions of Trixbox CE since version 2.4. Once you have to card in the system, boot it up, log in as root and type the setup PSTN command. All the channels will come up. If you are using a different distribution like PBX in a flash, asterisk now, or others, we will also cover the small handful of commands to run to get your system configured properly. When you see the channels coming up then just type import or restart or reboot. Asterisk system will restart. Then you need to go into the web interface and make sure your trunks are configured properly. After that, you are ready to make and receive calls. The installation of Spotel interface card is as easy as nearly plug and play. Backed by a two-year replacement warranty and Nichirons guaranteeing quality and reliability, this high-quality analog card solution inspires confidence with industry-leading performance and price.